Man, it feels good. It feels good to be back to seven o'clock for this call. It does, absolutely. And I've got a feeling there'll be some people come on at eight o'clock tonight <laughs> who got still mixed up. Well, <clears throat> yeah. let's just say welcome everyone to Elevation Call back to the seven o'clock central time. And I'm very impressed. I want you to give yourself a hand that you guys were able to navigate all the different time changes between Jenny's call and our call and back and forth. So we are back to the seven o'clock time, November the 21st. Hal and I just rolled in from a road trip where we had an amazing time with our Evansville, Indiana based team. And um, some of you guys might know the story. Some of you guys might not know the story, but gosh, it's been four years. So November 2nd, of 2017 is when I drove to my very first lease meeting, two and a half hours in a cold, dark, rainy weather to go to Bloomington, Indiana to hear a endocannabinoid lecture from Dr. Matt Andre. And uh, that that night changed my life. So really four years ago is where we when we started this team, our elevation call, Hal, uh, let's, uh, we've got a couple of newer people on the call. Uh -huh. So tell us what elevation call is. So you start, so Lisa started, like she said, in November the 2nd, 2017, uh, taking products, learning about the ECS and about Zalise. Um, by the first of the year, though, she had a team pretty much in Evansville and surrounding area. So by January of 2018, a team of people who were using products and sharing products and trying to build the business. And as being the leader that Lisa is, um, she started doing a Sunday night conference call. Well, actually, you started by gathering some local people in we Evansville did. to your home because that's where everybody was and did some training. <clears throat> and it was called the Jeep training because the goal was and still is to help everyone who wants to and is willing to do the work to earn area ambassador rank, which is Jeep, the Jeep bonus from Zalise. And so she started doing the conference call. Then in the winter of 19, we were introduced to Zoom. Right. And this was prior to the pandemic, and we started doing our, um, still, it was called the Jeep Call then, uh, started doing that training, it's an hour-long training for the purpose of helping everyone understand a little bit more about the business, how to do it, tips, encouragement, hearing from others. Um, and then when the pandemic hit, we, we continued. Um, and then midway through the pandemic, somewhere around the first of this year, we changed the name uh, to elevation, because the whole concept is what we believe is that people really need to elevate their belief, elevate their understanding, elevate their effort if they want to elevate their paycheck and their business. <laughs> so we changed the name <clears throat> because it's really more than just earning the Jeep, even though that's still a part of it. So that's what it's about. So and I'm glad y'all are here. And um, people on this first time, call. it's a lot of you know, plan on being here and bring your team with you next time. Absolutely. Being on this call is just kind of a, a must. And uh, we do a lot of personal coaching as well. But being on this call is really plugging in with our team. There's amazing learning, understanding, wisdom. And uh, so each each week we try to share um, not only just some uh, shout outs, like we're going to have Hal recognize our top 25 enrollments, but we also try to leave you with a very important lesson. Yeah, you would do the uh, Let's top 25. Do. So in all of Zalise, internationally, that's in Europe, Latin America, if you have the United States, Zalise keeps up with, obviously, people who've enrolled in the business this week, uh, each day. And they recognize them, um, uh, all of those people from all over the world and, and, and helping enroll other people. So the top leaderboard is about enrolling wholesale bronzes, silvers, and golds on your team. And when you make the top 25 leaderboard, it's posted in the back office. And then on Monday nights, uh, Stephen Thompson recognizes the top 10. And we've often had a lot of people in top 25 board and, and also in the top 10. Um, so this month, as of today, the 21st of November, on the leaderboard in the top 25 of all of Zalise, we actually have, what, five people? Yeah. Um, or couples. And so coming in at number 21, dragging up the rear is Hal and Lisa. <laughs> but when you're in the top 25, you are not dragging up the rear. You're enrolling <laughs> people and you're building your team. So we're at number 21. And then someone who's very familiar with being on the leaderboard is Lisa Hall out of Arizona and parts everywhere else unknown. Um, so Lisa, welcome back to the leaderboard. I'm very and, um, familiar with that. I, yep. I want to add a caveat about Lisa. 
Uh, Lisa is uh, really an expert at building her business on social media and Facebook. We have asked her to share kind of her methodology with us, and we were talking about doing it tonight, but she had a conflict, so we will reschedule that. So, so shout out. Congratulations, to Lisa. Lisa. You're very familiar with being on the leaderboard, and so is your team. Coming in at number 15, uh, someone who's also becoming familiar with not only this leaderboard, but also the retail leaderboard down in Florida is Ed Keller. So let's give a shout out to Ed. Way to go, Ed Keller and, sitting and on what's the dock the name of the bay. He, so on one thing, he's registered as Ed Keller, and the other one, what's your name on the other one, Ed? George. George. <laughs> so we, so we, we see you on there, but we know who you are. Oh. And then number 13, I don't, has Connie been on here before? Oh, yeah, she has. I thought so. She is no Coming in at number 13. It's one of our newer ambassadors who just did her first glow party under the direction of, and, and mentorship of her sponsor, Mary Ellen Ziliak, is number 13, Connie Grease, who we are incredibly proud of. And uh, and it's just she's just growing. She's growing in this business. I can see it every week. It's awesome to see. And we're going to come back to her. <clears throat> and then probably one of our very newest ambassadors, sponsored by Angela Noble. Angela's found a diamond in the rough there. It just, you know, how did you not recruit this young lady, Lisa? Hey, man, you I didn't, didn't know her. I Well, I briefly knew her, but I will we'll hopefully get the story. Anyway, so coming in at number seven, new ambassador, and I actually saw her enroll two people in the last couple of days, is Christina Durham out of uh, Evansville, Indiana area. So way to anyway, go. Congratulations, Christina. Christina. Thank you. And Christina, um, I would love just to, uh, I don't, I don't know if Angela can hear me yet. Cause uh, yeah, she, she, I see her. Angela Noble, where did you meet this young lady? Well, I met her some time ago. She was in the business before and she uh, dropped out. She didn't have, uh, she didn't have a team. It wasn't with a group that was a team. And uh, I'll let her tell you why she said she wanted to rejoin and what she saw in our team. And awesome, Christina. So she came back to us. You know, I I started talking to her on Messenger and she showed up at one of our meetings. So Christina, tell us, why is Elise for you a second time? Um, I fell in love with Elise the first time. I just didn't really have time. I had teenagers in high school didn't have time to really run the business then so I fell out of it and then back in July I just um just kind of got really burnt out in what I was doing uh, work-wise so I decided to step out of that and just started praying about what's next and it was literally almost three years to the week it just kind of Angela's post popped across my Facebook page I hadn't seen anything in a long time and um I just said you know what that that's it right there that's what I'm supposed to do so I kind of just jumped back in it and kind of been hitting the floor running ever since you sure have <laughs> well, and Christina seriously um you you were at every single event we did two events while we were in Evansville uh your sponsor well your your uh up upline um Angela Noble co-hosted co <clears throat> one of those events but you were at every one of them you actually set up the uh, kind of the decor at one of those events as well. And um, as Hal said, you've enrolled a few people. Well, she was not only there herself, but she brought people. She brought I mean, guests. She brought guests. She brought new ambassadors. She was working with me to figure out the back office with their new ambassadors. And, um, you know, I mean, uh, she had somebody signing up before our meeting the other night. And then uh, after the meeting, she had Chris signing up. We had gold Absolutely. after the Saturday deal. So. That's so, Christina, I mean, you um, have really given a new definition to jumping into action. So tell us kind of what has your strategy been? Uh, how did you get to number seven? Uh, I started, you know, hitting up my friend's family first, and I wasn't getting any response with that. And um, I had a conversation with an old friend that I hadn't talked to in a while, and she was doing um, craft and vendor fairs for something she was doing. And I said, how do I get a hold of that information? And I've done three so far. And um, I've got three, if not four, that I've signed up for between next weekend and Christmas. So just getting out there, getting names and making the contacts. And, and you've also been able to have guests at every single meeting that we, that we Hal and I were at. Yeah, yeah. So um, what has your strategy been for uh, just getting, getting support there? Um, just 
I talk about it a lot. It, it's made glow has made a big impact in my life. Um, two hours after I took the first dose, the arthritis and everything that I've had in my spine for, I didn't realize it was as much pain as I was. And it's just kind of, you know, I'm losing weight with it, but that's the pain. That's the big thing for me, sleeping better, um, the energy, but it's just, it just makes sense to me. i God put, um, what he put on earth to help us heal our bodies. I believe in that wholly, And I have for a really long time. So it's just, it's something I believe in. So it's easy. That's great. Well, I, I, it's, and it's, you drug your dad into arching Clyde <laughs> by his beard. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and that was wonderful for, which was a lot of fun. He's a good guy. It was he, wonderful. He, he's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. It was just wonderful for him to, you know, kind of get to get a little bigger vision by seeing some of our team and sh them sharing their stories, which is one of the things I love about just going back to Evansville and, and seeing the richness of what this product has done for our team, really starting with Angela. And uh, Angela, tell me, uh, is it exciting to have uh, new growth in your team? It is exciting. And she... Uh... Christina is just exciting herself being around her. She's got so much energy that she just got a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Angela, you know, you've been in this almost as long as I have. And, yeah. um, you know, you've had obstacles, you know, personal obstacles, uh, that, you know, the death of your husband, you know, you've had your own physical health challenges. And yet uh, you are now coaching and mentoring Christina. Um, we're going to get a Jeep by next month. There Next you month. go. Right, okay. Christina. <laughs> I've got my list to keep calling. So getting back, jumping back into it after this last crazy week for me. So I'm excited to kind of get back. I feel like I've been out of the groove if even though I've still been working the business, which has been really um beneficial that I could still even going through some things I was going through, just work the business while I was sitting and, and just kind of waiting and waiting through it. So it's really been nice to have a job that I could work in my time and that's worked for me too. So now, something she didn't tell you is those three events she had were all like Friday, I suppose it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Three in a row. Well, I had I had one on, on a Saturday and the next one were Friday and Saturday. So kind of the, the weekends back to back. So yeah. And you, and you had some life challenges during that time that were you know really intense. And so uh really just want to congratulate you. You know, back to you, Angela, though, the question. How does it feel when you've been in a minute, hadn't sponsored anyone for a while, and then all of a sudden, you know, you've been faithful, you've been leading, and then all of a sudden, you have the opportunity to work with and help mentor and grow. How does that feel for you? It's pretty good. I, uh, I'm very thankful. I'm, I'm thankful for, for Zelise first, thankful for you guys, because... Uh, I think the, somebody said it, I can't remember who it was, but said that the, the leadership that we have is awesome. And nobody, I don't think anybody else in the company has what we have. And, oh, well, that's uh, sweet. From a leadership standpoint. And it just feels good to be back in the groove a little bit. So maybe it'll kick my butt a little bit and get me going. <laughs> I've seen a change in you since we started talking, what, three, four weeks ago? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations to both of you guys. It's super exciting to see this. You know, it takes a lot of courage to begin communicating this to your network and in whatever way we choose to do it. Uh, but it takes tenacity to continue this on your fourth year and beyond. Um, so I'm just really proud of both of you guys. And speaking of tenacity, um, I want to bring uh, Mary Ellen Ziliak to the line because uh, she was Angela's co-host on Thursday she hosted a Saturday brunch at a country club in Evansville that it was just not easy to pull off. And it was her birthday. Um, we, we found didn't out until that day. Right. We had to find out on Facebook uh, that she was planning this event um, on her own birthday. But we had the pleasure of uh, getting to do a training with Connie and her newest enrollment. Mm -hmm. Shelly. Mm -hmm. So Mary Ellen, tell us a little bit about your expanding team and uh, what you were able to pull off this week. Well, uh, we've had an exciting week and we're not quite finished. Uh, our team has really stepped up and supported four live events in the Evansville area in a 10 day span. So we have the fourth event coming up Tuesday 
and the team has just stepped up to uh, to make it happen to be supportive. A lot of people have already come to the first three, and it's just a, a boost of energy and uh, almost like an adrenaline high to have you guys in share what you do and what you can teach us and to be together again as a group. So it's been, it, it's been a growth for the whole team. So I love that, but tomorrow will be the one week anniversary that our newest ambassador on our team, Shelly Hefley joined us. So she stepped up and came to the event at the Evansville Country Club. And I know is on the call tonight. So I'm so happy that she stepped up accepted the challenge to join and to share the whole Zalise product line and the experience and the opportunity and at the same time hear a whole new plan on on what's happening with our business so she's been very open welcoming and uh listens well to what we suggest as a way to grow her team and she's making it happen with her activity being on here and being there saturday so it's just been a it's just been a boost for all of us and I can feel it and I'm excited and it's more exciting to see my team grow than when I do. I mean, I'm growing with my team, but you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's almost like the kids and grandkids, what they accomplish is even bigger than what I can experience personally. So uh, I thank yes. Connie and uh, Shelly for joining arms on my team. Well, awesome, Mary Ellen, uh, you're, you're really setting the pace at the speed of the leader. Uh, determines the speed of the pack, right? And so you sponsored Connie, how long ago? Uh, I sponsored Connie about a year ago, but she only recently decided to do the business. She just liked the product. She was somewhat like me, got started because she knew the product was good and it worked. But we both said, we're not doing the business. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not selling a bottle. And I ate my words, she ate her words, and now she's just going full force and is number 13 on the leaderboard in the world. So she can't say she's not doing it anymore. And she's doing a bang up job, stepping outside her comfort zone and learning new techniques and uh, skills. So it's wonderful, but I'm really glad the whole team appreciates. We are in the sweetest spot from now until the end of January with a product like Glow that addresses weight, stress, and uh, pain, all that. I mean, my gosh, with the holidays from here on out, you could not have a sweeter time to talk to people about this product. So I'm glad our team appreciates the moment is now. Don't procrastinate. Jump on this wagon and, and make it run. Awesome, Mary Ellen. Well, Connie Grease, when I first met you, uh, we were doing a little bit of training because I, I, it's it's been within the last few months and we had so much fun with you because you had a flip phone. <laughs> and we were trying to teach Connie how to do a three-way phone call on a flip phone. I'm like, Connie, if you're serious about this business, I want you to go get a smartphone. And what did you do? I went and got a smartphone. <laughs> so I don't know how to use it yet. But I went and got one. You. <laughs> You're using it. I'm using it um, a little at a time. Yes. There you go. I'm going That's slow. That's good. Well, we love seeing the changes in you, Connie. I mean, your confidence, <clears throat> uh, just your professionalism, the way you hold your, you know, your your notebook. You know, you are just really taking this seriously, and you are really achieving results as evidenced by what we see on the leaderboard. Yeah, and you know, we, we would not have got to meet Shelly had it not been for you. I mean, odds mm -hmm. are we wouldn't. And Shelly's really wonderful, very, very professional herself. She's related to you, right? She's your niece or She's my cousin niece. Or so, so tell us, how did you meet mm -hmm. uh, Shelly? And then we're gonna bring- it's her cousin, uh, her niece. Oh. <laughs> I know that, but County, you know, even if you have relatives, doesn't mean they join. So no, tell no. us how you were able to, to introduce this to Shelly. Well, I know Shelly, uh, she works on, as my insurance person. So she's already got the skill. She already knows how to talk to people. I thought if Shelly goes for this, 
than she's in because I know her family and I know the needs that they have. So, you know, this just fits right into what she needs to do. And so did you just call her on the phone? How did you reach out? I went through my messenger and invited everybody to my glow party and she accepted and she came and she learned and she joined. Awesome. So Shelly came through a glow party. Which is, yes. what's a, tell us your version of a glow party or a glow uh, show. I don't have my hat, don't got it. Um, well, they came in, they all got a little glow hat, a little boa hat. Uh, there was glow cookies. There was punch, um, and then there was the presentation, and it was just, you know, when Mary Ellen's there, you know it's going to be a good presentation, so I always fall back on her. You know, I started it, and then I said, take it, so. Where did you do it? Where did you have your glow show party? In my dining room. Oh, at your house. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, there yeah. you go. That takes courage right there for anyone to open up their house for something like this. So. Well, the only thing that I worried about was the cats, because... Sometimes they're not real friendly with new people, but they didn't even know they were here. So okay. it was fine. <laughs> well, well um, let me just bring Shelly on. Shelly, uh, welcome to our team. It was awesome to get to meet you live. And uh, we would love to hear just, you know, obviously nobody can resist Connie, but for you, uh, why is Elise? Many have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I honestly think it's a great product. And as far as weight loss and helping people manage their health, get off narcotics, get off medications, there's so many positive potentials for this that it's just a matter of getting out to all the people. Awesome. And so how long, Shelly, have you been on GLOW? A, it was a week today. Okay. And and so what have you noticed? What, what kind of... Uh observations have you had? My joint pain, particularly knee pain is almost non-existent anymore. I okay. ran up and down the stairs that I couldn't do a week ago. So it's awesome. That's fantastic, Shelly. And it was really fun to get to use you in our training lesson. Yeah, we put her right there in the hot seat on Saturday. Thank morning. you for being willing <laughs> to participate. And uh, we are expecting great things from you. Thank you. I hope so. We'll get it going. Nope. Was that helpful? Did, did that, you know, we didn't get a chance to talk afterwards, but was our little training after the meeting, the visual and you participating, was that helpful to, in, in any way to you? I think it is because everyone learns differently, but to be able to just see the way things will work and to experience it is awesome. Well, good, good. Well, it we was, can't, we can't, we can't throw the whole dump truck on everybody all at once. Yeah. It's too much, but a little bit at a time. You know, one of the things we talk about is just, you know, <laughs> ways that we can actually communicate this to other people, you know, whether you're using social media. What I love about just the event that we saw is that people in Evansville were just building in their backyard and their backyard is critically important. So some other people who don't have as much development in their backyard actually drove over to the mm -hmm. event. Um, and that was Lorena and Jean. And I wanted Jean to share his results with everybody with GLOW so far. Gina, are you there? Yeah, physically. <laughs> physically. Hey, that's all, that's all we need. Yeah, it's, it's just a, a rough day. We had uh, a lot of stuff on the agenda today. But well, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing just one minute about what you have experienced with GLOW so far, Gina, I was, I was pretty amazed. Yeah, yeah. So actually, so was I. Um, I started GLOW about a month ago now. And in the past four weeks, I've been able to successfully drop 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really not changing anything. I'm still eating all the same foods. I still drink beer. Um, you know, the only thing I've noticed is that I'm not as hungry, so I'm not eating as much. In addition to that, my blood sugars used to run in the 180s. Now they're down in the 120s and in the teens, you know, the 100 and teens. So... Um, so that's, I'm that's happy with that. Yeah, I've got more, more energy, um, you know, so now I can chase the bunnies around the house. So not just me. Yeah. <laughs> the the four-legged bunnies too. The four-legged too. Hey, so yeah. Jean, a total of, did you say 25 pounds? Yeah, it was 25 pounds when I weighed the other night. And okay. uh, it was actually three pounds more than I, I did previously and had posted on the social media. 
that's incredible. So 25 pounds and yes. a very, very significant impact on your blood sugar and your energy level. Exactly, exactly. Especially my blood sugars. That's what I'm really excited about. You know, I mean, if I can keep my blood sugars down around that 120 mark, then that means I don't have to get, you know, three and four shots of insulin a day. I don't have to take the metformin pills, you know, and kind of regain my life a little bit and some more of my cash back. That's Absolutely. Right. Well, Gene, and I y'all brought somebody with you too. I know you had two or three people lined up and the yeah. couple fell through, but you still, you brought someone with you. would never been in one of right. our meetings. Mm -hmm. Right. That was Kathy Stabler, wonderful friend of ours. And uh, right now she's just a wholesale customer, but she's, she's been bringing people to well, our glow meetings. We're so. not sure. Actually, we're not exactly sure what rank she is because I thought she had uh, ranked up, yeah, but she was talking about uh, doing the gold package when we were there. Right. But uh, it was for the free shipping, but she may be getting, starting to get the free shipping and, uh, because you talk to her house, she's probably going to get uh, between you and Mary Ellen. Uh, she's probably going to get on uh, the CBG and she takes ice. And um, one more thing that she may be getting on to the um, auto ship, you know, so well, that she great. can get that. That's great. Well, well it's good that you brought her with you. And it, it's always it's always very helpful anytime, again, that you can be around more people in the business right. and you can ask questions. And that's what we do these events for. And obviously yeah. for our guests as well. And and I just wanted to say thank you <clears throat> to you guys. You bring a lot, Lorena and Jean, in, in yeah. the stories and your, your, your consistency. And you drove three hours one way just to come to support the meeting. Oh, I, I had to deliver my special packages. Yes, you did. <laughs> this, is the white, this is the official white paper, guys. That we're yeah. for. Right here. Oh, you know what? While we were there, uh, his sister, who she had fallen off, uh, I had sent her the, she was going to come and she had something, she had to get shots on Friday, so she couldn't have sat in the car. But while we were there, she actually watched the video that I sent her while we were there. We have not followed from, up today. From Fall Fest. Yeah. That's that she watched it, so. Yeah. We're proud of you guys. And also, what, uh, what is the, um, you were talking about a video to send people on CBD and CBG? Yes. Okay, do you know when that was? Yes, and uh, what Lorena asked a question just because she said, you know, what if we have medical questions from someone uh, do I need to refer them to me as a nurse or Mary Ellen as a nurse? And I said, you know, what I ask somebody to do first is to do something on their own. And I send them Mary Ellen Weintraub's ECS training with CBD and CBG. And that is in our back offices. It's also posted on Team Unlimited. So if you go there, it's within the last week on Team Unlimited. It is really, I think, one of the most complete training videos on the endocannabinoid system. Once somebody views that, we can answer their questions much easier. So thank you for bringing that up, Lorena. Okay. That was thank a, you. A you guys are awesome. Thank you. So we love you guys. And you know, one of the things that just absolutely um, touches my heart is the collection of stories when we get our team together. And these are all different sponsorship lines working together. Um, one of the things that was very touching was to see, get to see Susan Everett's sister. That's right. And um, so you go ahead. So I'll tell uh, my part here. In a minute. Okay. So uh, Susan Everett, um, you guys know her. She's been on these calls. She supports these calls. Uh, but uh, she has a sister who has an amazing story. And uh, she's actually on, I think, maybe her second elevation call tonight. So I wanted to uh, recognize Judy Baker. Did you want to add anything before we have Judy share her well, story? Well, no, I want to tell my part after Judy talks. Okay. Yeah. So Judy, you... Um, you impressed me by driving all the way from Illinois to come support the meeting. I had told Susan she needed to slap you around if you didn't agree to it, but you, it sounds like you were, you know, very willing. So uh, would you mind sharing your amazing story with, um, with our, our group here? Okay. I think you're still muted. There. Can you hear Perfect. me now? I can. Okay. Um, weight loss. I started in January, last January, and I'll just say I was over 200 pounds. 
and I was using burn, uh, hit a plateau, added, uh, doubled the burn, hit another plateau, added the rev to it, started hearing about glow, could not wait to get my hands on it, was, was very disappointed I didn't have it the day it came out. Um, the thing of it is I had lost almost, I had lost around 30 pounds before glow ever came out. So I was getting close to my goal. And you know, it's those last five pounds that you can never get rid of. And I, I had really come to the conclusion I was probably about where I was going to stay. And the first week or so that I used glow, I've been on it about a week and a half now. And the first week I didn't notice a big difference, except I had less appetite. I did have more energy. Um, I, I have trouble with one hip when I'm trying to sleep. I have one hip that, that bothers me. I'm sleeping on my side. It's wonderful. And I was, um, and then, and then the last week now I've started noticing those, those last pounds are going off. I have lost a total now since January of, I think it's 39.3 pounds. Yeehaw. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I'm actually below the goal that I had set for myself to get by December 31st. So from wow. January, I thought if I make this by December 31st, so I'm already there now. In fact, I'm below that. So now I think, okay, I can be here. I <laughs> just, I can great. do this. That's but, amazing. But I want to add this too. I, uh, I was bragging on the fact that of the, the energy, the, the better sleep and all that. I was talking to some friends downtown the other day and one of the ladies bought a packet and she said, by the way, I want to buy one for my daughter and a, and a friend. I heard back that the daughter is, is doing well. She's noticing the weight loss. The a uh, lady that bought it said she is feeling, she is so stressed. She's just got so much going on. And she said, I just feel so much better now. It's just, I feel better. And uh, the friend, she said, the friend was, was, I mean, she's taking lots of medicines for her hip, her knees. And the friend has, has saying, this is great stuff. I just, I love it. I'm doing great. And this morning I went to church and doggone if she hadn't recommended another person to me. So I got a fourth one. <laughs> I know she's selling my stuff for me. But <laughs> the thing that gets me is when all, all of these, none of them were, even though they're a little bit overweight, none of them were interested in the weight loss. They were all interested in the fact that the pain was going away. The sleep was better. The energy was up. That's the thing. And oh, by the way, you can lose a little weight on it. So yay. Wow, Judy. Well, so Judy, are you doing the business or are you just taking product? I'm just taking product. And, That's and what I thought. Okay. Well, I, if you I ever decide you there. might want to do the business, would you let us know and we'll uh, stay out of your way? Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, I love it. <laughs> I, I got to bring Susan Everett on because look at, <clears throat> look at Susan's face. Susan, how did you ever get judy to listen to you about this company and this product listen to sisters, i right? still can't get my sister uh to listen to me you know i gosh it's been a while because she was one of my yeah. early people that i signed up yeah. and i just talked about the benefits of the product and stuff and you know judy talked about you know some of the she has some joint pains and things and man she's been she's been one of my big buyers actually every <laughs> and and she also she has a daughter that has gone through processes of buying products, some too, not as much now, but, and then she sent a couple of friends my, uh, my way. And so, yeah, she's, she says she's not working the business, but she is. So let's just not tell her any different. It's not. <laughs> so I think, I think the first time we met Judy was at one of your first events that you held, like yes. an event at your church fellowship. Yes. yes. Is that right? Judy came and a couple yes, of Yes, that's right. Came. And I don't know. Maybe I've seen you, Judy, since then one other time, because I haven't been back to Evansville Maybe. a lot. But here's my side of the story. So Judy, I go to the Evansville Country Club, and here walks out Judy, and I recognized her because she looks enough like Susan for me to know who she is. <laughs> but I haven't seen her since she's lost all this weight. Now, so I learned uh, back in 1991, I can tell you, I could, I'm not going to the story, but I learned in 1991, I'm a young adult in the real estate business at a real estate luncheon with bankers and other realtors. I asked a woman who gave birth to a child four months before when the baby was due. And I learned uh, severe, severe, I mean, I, that was a life-changing moment for me. So I never talk about anything like that 
Um, when I see someone, though, I definitely noticed that Judy had looked very different. It had lost a lot of weight, but I didn't say a word about it. I just act like everything was good, but I definitely noticed. Well, Judy, you and look... I was hurt, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you were. <laughs> Judy, you look so lean. You and Susan both just, uh, I took Very some pictures. Looking. I'm going to post one on Team Unlimited because I was so proud. And, and that's what it's really about is you just, it, it's just about better health and feeling better, sleeping better, all the different things that come from better health. We talk about weight because that's what everybody talks about. And it's kind of the big obsession of the world to to the weight thing, but really it is about, uh, I know I feel healthier. You know, I can get in, I actually was able to button my, my jacket and my pants in your jacket. Um, the other day and I wouldn't even able to get into them before, but I'm just saying- So how I, much total pounds for you? I've lost about 15. I've got- I think I've lost go. about 10 pounds on GLOW. I so. started before GLOW, um, but I definitely had hit kind of a plateau with my what I yeah. was doing. And of course, uh, COVID kind of knocked a little bit yeah, off too. Bit. So, yeah. Well, just so Susan and Judy, um, you know, you guys are an amazing part of this team as well. You support every activity, every event. And um, so those of you guys who are not in Evansville or didn't go to the meeting, just understand this is just <laughs> the story of what you can do in your backyard. It, it really, it just starts with you. It starts with you and one other person, because when we moved to Northwest Arkansas, um, we had to do it over again. And Beth Plumley was the very first person that I introduced myself in Northwest Arkansas. And Beth's on this call and she's a faithful member of our <clears throat> Northwest Arkansas team that we're growing now. So it's very exciting to go back and just see the diligence with which you guys continue to share this. And so uh, anyway- do a couple more things here. Absolutely. One you don't know about. Oh yeah. That's scary. I know, <laughs> but we do wanna, uh, uh, we do want to recognize our retail leaderboard is because Glow, and I'm going to make a teaching point out of this, really Glow is a, a put in your pocket cash opportunity, just the way it's packaged and what it is. And so we've been talking about this, but we also want to recognize uh, those that are on the retail leaderboard. And so just so you guys know, those of you who are new, there's, these are two different leaderboards. The one that we recognize one through 25 is about enrollments. So enrolling wholesale, bronze, silver, or gold, obviously there's more points for the higher quantity, uh, the gold, silver, um, than there are the smaller kits, but all of those are enrollments. What Hal's talking about now is retail. So buying in cases. Yeah. So it's really not so much what they've sold, but what they've bought in order to turn around and make a profit. So they recognize larger purchases um, because they know, because the way Zalise is set up, the larger your purchase from Zalise, the deeper the tier of discount that you get, which then ultimately for you, if you are doing it in a retail setting or just selling it to, to people at a retail price, uh, individual sales, uh, there's, there's margin there. So we want to recognize three different people from our team at number 16. Same person that's number 15 on the leaderboard is Ed George Keller out of Florida. <laughs> Way to recognize go, him, and also then his sponsor, Dr. Susan Welch, is is there um, uh, in the Pensacola area, um, and then uh, number two, number twelve out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, is Marilee Reeves, who is a nurse practitioner in a practice in uh, in Georgia. So we want to congratulate all of them. Um, I wanted to hear first from Ed Keller. Ed, how does one hit both? the sponsorship and the retail leaderboard? Uh, breadcrumbs, uh, you know, a little bit here and there. It's, it's really, do you remember a couple elevation meetings ago and I told you I had a real short meeting with a guy that was opening up a bunch of fitness centers across the South? Yes. Well, he said, come on up, do a vendor night. And he, then he never returned any of my phone calls. So I just said, okay, I'm going up there. So I went up there last week, took the RV, you know, hung out, had some good friends that came up and uh, they took the RV and we pointed them towards each other. So we kind of camped out, it was fun. So I dribbled on them and uh, she signed up gold, you know, just over during the weekend. And then when I went to the um, health area, he wasn't there, but his uh, number two in charge was, and she already knew about it. So she said, you, yeah, come up any anytime you want to, Monday or Tuesday. And I said, well, how many people do you normally have like on a Monday? Our Tuesday night, and this is a gym, 
And it was on a Wednesday and the night before they had 1100 between five and seven. Wow. So I've got an open door to four of their fitness centers in three different states to go on a Monday or Tuesday night to do the uh, the glow part. That so I'm hoping that he does one stay up there. Ed, you know, it's just you're creating opportunities for yourself. But you had you took it on yourself. It was about an hour drive. Is that right? Yeah, a little bit more. Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, but I don't, you know. But you were followed a really what you felt like was a good lead and good opportunity. Yeah. We wouldn't recommend people chasing things all over the country. <laughs> like that but if you recognized it in your gut thought about it prayed about it as a good business decision whether it worked out or not you had a good time but it sounds like it's working out pretty good yeah just just the fact of getting um showing glow to 400 people is awesome but to 900 or a thousand in three hours just, just blows me away right now so that's set up for two weeks from now probably so stay tuned and we'll see how it goes we can't wait to learn from you ed this is really <laughs> one of the beauties of having a team uh, that that is willing to share so thank you for that we're super proud of you hitting both of those top 25 lists and uh, we're also very proud of your sponsor dr susan welch and brian i think are still on the line here he's like is he are you having to wake him up <laughs> look at Hey Susan, how do you, are you proud of Ed Keller? Oh, for sure. He he. Um, Ed sees the vision of what he can do in his. Re, I call them the retirement years. Um, he has a pull behind trailer uh, that he can go places and do things now where he's celebrating a time in his life where he's just starting to grow. It's it's really neat to watch him. You know, he was a patient of mine and I had my hands in his mouth way back when Stephen Thompson first came in an October meeting. And I said, hey, you want to come to this meeting I'm doing tonight? The CEO is going to be there. And he's like, sure, you know, um, and then it just it grows and builds on it. So I'm proud of him. And uh, he's a fun guy to, to hang out with as well. We're having a local Zelis Christmas party on uh, the 11th of December that he's hosting it at his home. So, oh, cool. um, yeah, trying to invite our team in, right? And then also some prospects and things and just kind of have a an open door policy. He's hoping to get about 40 people in his house, which will be fun. Wow. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Set the goal and go for it. Well, Susan, right. you know, we've been saying speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. <laughs> and you and Brian are doing some amazing things. So tell us how you continue to stay excited about what's going on with Elise. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, we've had a challenging, uh, past eight weeks in our life. So, uh, we were hard charging through the summer and doing a lot of home shows and things. And, and then we had to switch hats and focus on our dental practice. And it was not my fault this time that we changed though. I just want everybody to know that. <laughs> so but it was uh, all the other times. Yes, it was, uh, you know, and then there's hunting season and football season. So no, yeah, but, um, yeah that's you know, right. always in, in y'all we're, I'm, we're very blessed because we are able to touch people in our community from my dental practice. And, you know, we have that feather in our cap, but, uh, you know, we also uh, use the products and we see the benefits of the products. And so it's easy to share the stories um, as well as just, you know, I work with a lot of veterans through the VA and, and things of that nature. So it's, it's a neat place to grow. And the retail part of it is very much a blessing for our business. Well, so one of the things we mentioned, you guys were not only on the leaderboard, but number one, um, a couple of months or at least one month and in the top 10, several months in a row. Um, and then, like you said, you had to focus on your dental practice. You had some surprises there. You had to make some changes. And then, you know, life is life. You got three teenagers, young teenagers in your house. And, you know, when hunting season comes and the Georgia Bulldogs are winning every weekend, going for a national championship, <laughs> uh, you know, you're focused. Hey, it's life. You know, we have people ask us all the time. You guys just do Zelise all the time. We're like, no, we don't. We go to Razorback games. We go to my daughter's stuff. We go to dance. We live life, you know, and, and we, you know, you have a things. bill from farm and home. Oh, you know, no. Uh -uh. What's that from? I mean, there's another one on the bar, but oh, this that's one's Tammy. From last hey, month. Tammy. <laughs> hey, hang on a second here. Just, there you go. We're, uh, we're hearing about their bills. Okay. Here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but you guys, point is that you put the hammer down and you created a wake. 
You really did. You created a wake of behind you and your team took advantage of that, you know? And so, and I really think that's what Lisa did. And that was going to be my point okay. is so as we look at Evansville and you guys are always going to hear about Evansville, Indiana, because that's where Lisa lived and literally was introduced to Zelise and began to share um, and press toward building a business and invite everybody she knew into the business with her and created in Evansville by being determined, knowing she had something that had changed her son's life. She knew because she did the research and she talked to Eva. She did everything it she could. I mean, everything she could to build a large group in Evansville. And that's what it takes. So as I look at, at our call tonight, just looking at it, there's about 14 different um, locations far from Evansville that are represented on this call tonight. And I'm talking, you know, St. Louis. I'm talking about almost Louisville, Kentucky with, with Angie. I'm talking Northwest Arkansas. I'm talking California. I'm talking Houston, Texas. I'm talking Virginia. You know, and I'm just looking at the screen. I'm talking Atlanta. I'm talking Nashville, Tennessee. Memphis. I mean, Memphis. I mean, I literally, of course, with, uh, Pensacola area has Dr. Steve and Jenny Todd, who were regional ambassadors with Zelise already and have helped build a team there. But point is, the only way you're going to get an Evansville in your area is it is with you doing what Lisa did. And that's determining that you're going to build a team right there in your backyard so that two years from now, you can look at that and say, we've built this from our own back doorstep and outward. And so that's why we get to travel back to Evansville, now living in Northwest Arkansas, and we're trying here. We're determined that we're gonna build a team here. That's why we're on the leaderboard. We're not sponsoring people in Evansville, Indiana. We're sponsoring people in Northwest Arkansas to try to build a team here. And we're determined to have a team that looks like Evansville, that's doing what Evansville here in Northwest Arkansas. And we have some pieces in place, but for all of us, wherever we live, and if you're in an area that has some leadership, has some other people, do like Mary Ellen and Susan and Angela are doing, and that's come together and create some momentum together for your own individual businesses to impact your city. And that's what Lisa did. She determined to do it four years ago. And today we can return it was the best trip for me in a long time. Um, and I, you know, it was just a great trip. We got to see Nate and Brandy, got to spend time with them, but the meetings were awesome. We got to meet new people. The spirit and the enthusiasm was great. We got to spend time with more, more time personally with some, some of our ambassadors and it was just great. So, so hopefully that's <clears throat> encouraging to you guys. I mean, what I appreciate and I'm so grateful is for the consistency, the leadership of um, the people in uh, in Evansville that this has all occurred from, you know, Jenny Offerman, who brought us these darling masks that she made. <laughs> um, all of you guys really came from that initial push. And so what I'm saying, you know, is if you're new or if you've been in for a while, the story of Christina, who who it wasn't the right time for her to build. You guys never, ever give, give up hope of who you've brought in and who you've yet met yet. Um, so that is really what I want yeah. to, to impart on all of you guys is just build in your backyard because you build it big and you never give up. You cannot imagine the wake, the ripple effect that it has. And, and going back to Evansville, hearing Julia Baker's story again about how this has just impacted her life if you don't know her story we'll have her on another time but i just want you guys to know that this is real it is real and you are here for a reason and all of us are asked to expand and elevate in order to do this right. um, i did it doubting myself face down in every way um, and and i just my goal is tomorrow that i'm better than i am today we're just we're learning together nobody does this perfectly and nobody does it the same way so that's so all I got. That's to say. it. That's it. So we got two things. We want to remind everyone. Yeah, I'd Steve. like to. I'd like to speak to Susan and. Oh, and you're on. Oh, there's Stephen yeah. J. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Please, hey. you guys. Ed. You. Yeah. Well, you know, Brian and Susan, we had dinner with them the other night, and Ed, it, and you know, we. I, I think the message you just said it 
for for our group and here in the Panhandle is is that we we are just starting. We're just beginning. I mean, this you can't really reflect on the past in anything. I mean, the past is the past. It's gone. It's done. But this business is is the beginning of the beginning of this industry. And you and because we're in it, we think that everybody's around it or everybody's exposed to it. But that's not true. Very very few people know anything about this. So I, I'm proud of Brian and proud of Susan and, um, and Ed and just the fact that they're the beginning of the beginning of that area and our area and you know people come and go but there's 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 still uh warriors in this in this uh quest that we're on and and I'm just so proud of all of them and, and becoming you know uh, friends and just just on a journey together. And, and again, it's it has its ebbs and flows. Everything does. If you life takes its as as everybody said, it just life takes its way and course, and we have to go with it. But um Stephen always says that we're just beginning, and, and you just gotta remember that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm proud of those guys. I really am, our team and everything. So thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Well, thank Thank you guys. And thank you all for being here. And, uh, you know, your consistency as leaders, again, speed of the leader, you guys are amazing. We notice everything you do. We truly do. All right. So tomorrow night, Freedom Call, Stephen Thompson, 8 p.m. Uh, get on that call, the Zoom call is really important. Invite your team. Also, it's a Thanksgiving week and, you know, celebrate it. Celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, be obviously be grateful. Uh, we're hearing stories of our team being out serving uh, other people already. I know one of our ambassadors talked to us today about being out providing meals with their church um, this week for people who don't have it for Thanksgiving, and uh, it's always great to hear. Um, so, um, anyway, we're going to wrap it up with this. Lisa asked me to share when Steve said the beginning of the beginning. And I shared this in Evansville. So the history of Zalise is that prior, Zalise was started without CBD. Stephen, didn't, Stephen Thompson didn't know anything about it, um, but he had the idea of, of, of being kind of a transfer by creating opportunity for people to have great products they buy for themselves um, and share that with others. And then he was introduced in 2017 and finally by 2018, um, Zalise had gone heavy into um, an absorbable CBD opportunity with UltraCell. So to me, it was as much about UltraCell and the absorbency of nutritionals as it was CBD, but that was really phase one of what we have today. So phase two became a little jumbled, but there was a really key part. So we love the vitamins, we love all the other cannabinoids, but when they discovered that they could access uh, other cannabinoids from the hemp plant and that our bodies really could use them in unique ways, because of Stephen Thompson's personality and willingness, he went heavy into everything. So he jumped from CBD to all the other cannabinoids and all the vitamins. And so we literally have gone through a period where we've had great results with many, many products, but it kind of became a little bit confusing in sharing that part of the story. And we call that kind of phase two. And so a lot of people got slowed down with that and the pandemic. Um, but one of the great, two of the great things that came out of all that development was number one, CBG, which um, we still take, Lisa and I still take with our, with everything else we take, we take CBG because it's very special impact and what it does for all the other cannabinoids. So that was really critical. So we look at CBD as phase one, CBG and all the other things as phase two. But now because of what they discovered they could do during phase two of extracting really other key parts, and I'm not even gonna say what those are because it, I don't wanna confuse. When they came out with GLOW guys, GLOW, the time is now, it's the easiest time ever to build a Zalise business because of the GLOW product for a number of reasons. One, we have, five years of development behind it. Number two, it's really easy to share in a single stick or in a 10 pack stick or in a 30 pack. Okay. A one month supply. Really, you can take that and break it down into 10 days, 20 days, 30 days and make a retail profit and put money in your pocket. It, it's the simplest it's ever been. But the other thing is that on the package, it talks about four things 
you don't even have to say a word if people can read. They look on the package and see the four things that are the indicators that might impact their lives. And so um, people are very, very receptive. We're having people come back who didn't really go away, but just continue to use the product, but kind of lost steam, lost energy towards sharing. And they're now coming back buying to share. And so anyway, the time is now as we go into the new year, um, the things that are on that package are the things that people are really going to be looking for. So I'm just, you know, I'm sharing with you to encourage you that this is an incredible opportunity. And to remind you that people are still going to tell you no. They're still going to tell you heck no. Okay. They're still going to say, you must be crazy. Get away from me, whatever. We're all told no all the time. Um, but there are a lot more people who are open and willing and looking for what we have to offer than there ever was before. So we want to encourage you with that and uh, wrap up this call with and, that. And by saying how grateful we are for each and every one of you and how much we love you guys. So I'm going to pause stop the now with yeah. the recording. If you guys have questions, comments, if you want to jump. Let's do questions 